everybody, I hope you all are having an amazing day today. My name is Mercer, and welcome back to another episode of Character War. And today on Character War, we have two characters who literally bend the shadows around them. I'm talking about Shikamaru Nara, the shadow-controlling member of the Nara clan from Naruto, versus Fumikage Tokoyami, the dark shadow-wielding hero of Class 1A. So, who wins this fight? Well... Why don't we see for ourselves? Of many of the clans in the Hidden Leaf Village, the Nara clan is one of the most influential and downright coolest clans in all of the village. And that's saying a lot comparing to other clans like the famous Hyuga clan, the Ino clan, which I, I don't think is a technical name, or the Uchiha clan. And of the Naras in the clan, one stands out above the rest, Shikamaru Nara. And Shikamaru's downright lazy and just carefree of sorts personality earned him a spot as an interesting ninja, as he graduated from Uruku Sensei's school for, you know, young ninja, alongside friends Choji and Naruto, Uzumaki. And of course he learned the basic fundamentals of a ninja, including the three properties, Taijutsu, hand-to-hand -hand combat, Genjutsu, the art of cloning, which he did learn, and other chakra techniques. He knows the substitution jutsu, which is a famous technique, and he can use shurikens. He did not learn full powerful genjutsu, but can learn small amounts after he trained from the sensei, from the sensei Sarutobi. And with t two other members, he forged the new team of Choji Ino Shik, of Sh Shiko Ino Choji. Yeah, sorry about that. Oji in the new Hidden Leaf Village, and for good reason. Shikamaru has a powerful array of arsenals, including a number of different shadow jutsus, including his most famous and most one of the most useful is Shadow Possession Jutsu. This isn't the image right here, but, well, this is. The Shadow Possession Jutsu allows Shikamaru to take control of a certain opponent and basically track their movements, leading them into traps and forcing them to stay in a constant motion. He can take damage though and connect it through his body as he has through his taijutsu and can affect numerous different people. If he's hit through this, it can affect both him and the other person, though that does do recoil damage upon himself. So mostly it's due for control and is very good with, with Ino's mind manipulation jutsu. Shikamaru can also use the shadow strangle jutsu, which sends a giant shadow-like hand up to your neck to strangle you, and he can use it to wrap around different people very similar to Gara's sand coffin. He can also use an interesting ability where he sends numerous different shadow tentadrills, I guess I don't know what to call them aside from that, and he can use these as his most formidable and offensive attack. This has helped him to take on some of the most devastating opponents, and Shikamaru is a master of that, as he can make these things sharp to go through people's skin and even go through hard buildings, and like I said earlier, it's very similar to Gara's Sand Coffin, which literally suffocates an opponent. These things are very fast and powerful, and they can tape, rack up around, and even shoot straight through opponents with ease. Shikamaru is an amazingly powerful opponent on his own right and by all nature is extremely smart. He's taken on a number of powerful ninja, including Sound Ninja, and is even wrapped around Gara, one of the most powerful opponents in the early series. He's taken on his future wife Tamari, and has beaten numerous different Sound Ninja at once, even taking some of their attacks, which by the way can level Choji's Wrecking Ball Jutsu, a feat of which can level Forest even. Shikamaru, not to mention, has an immensely high IQ of 200, Yes, he's lazy and doesn't like to do work, but he's a master in choji and other board games and can think way step way, way above him other people in terms of, um, you know, strategies. Anyway, after marrying Tamari and settling down, Shikamaru actually found something that wasn't really a drag. He found happiness. Of the heroes in 1A, quirks are abundant. And in the world of My Hero Academia, these things can be weaponized to become superheroes, which is actually a professional job. And at these, the most distinguished academy to learn how to use your quirk or superpower is, is UA High, a very unique and powerful high school which teaches people with quirks to control them properly and molding them into superheroes. And one of these people is Fumikage Tokoyami. Fumikage Tokoyami, well has one of the most useful quirks in the entire classroom, and took Mr. Aizawa's class 1A class where he learned to control one of his greatest quirks, Dark Shadow. 
Dark Shadow is an appendage of Tokoyami in his own right, and he can mold it into his own way of sorts. It's a very offensive base fighter and has powerful claws and teeth to charge at opponents with. It can extend its arms, extend its length, move at powerful speeds, and can push opponents back with limited ease. He can use Dark Shadow's claws for an offensive strategy based attack, and can use Dark Shadow's whole body as a battering ram of sorts. And he naturally is very good with this, as Tokoyami's skill and Dark Shadow's offensive power make them a fairly powerful team in their own right. And with nothing but their wits and their power, they have proven a very nice have a, to have a very nice arsenal, including their form Black Abyss, which Dark, Dark Shadow uses by covering Tokoyami in his aura and fight and basically making a shield where he can use his claws as gauntlets. And with moves like that, he can take on people as tough as Mina Ashido, the acid sprayer, and Iyao Yorozu, Momo Yao Yorozu, who can create shields with nothing but a thought. He took on Bakugo, one of the toughest members in Class 1A, and took tons of different damage, though this does exploit Dark Shadow's weakness to powerful light. And with that powerful light weakness is also a different, interesting super form. But before we get into that, I also have to mention that Dark Shadow has reacted to lightning bolts from Denke Kaminari, whom of which is electrical wire, which moves at powerful speeds faster than storm lightning. And Dark Shadow is immensely fast, if you know what I'm saying. He's even reacted to Tenya Ida's engine burst, which is, by the way, remarkably fast. So, who wins this fight? Well, I could go on a number of different reasons why the fight could go either way. And, like I said earlier, the, both characters are packing a ton of advantages. While, yes, Dark Shadow does react quicker because, yes, Shikamaru's reaction speed isn't as fast as Lightning, but Dark Shadow's is much faster than that, but he does have a number of advantages, including experience, because he's had actual ninja training while, yes, Tokoyami's training with, like, Hawks at the UA Distinguished Academy, Still, technical ninja training and has technical training over his shadows, making him have better control. And if you don't know, the Dark Shadow aura is actually fueled by darkness and can take control of Tokoyami whenever he needs. As well as the Shadow Possession Jutsu being very powerful as it can force opponents to work for them. Meaning that Tokoyami's Dark Shadow is an appendage of his body, so they technically would be used and controlled by Shikamaru. But you're probably wondering, wait a minute. Tokoyami's shadow is very powerful, and it takes control of him in the dark. And before I say anything, Shigemaru does not scale to big form Naruto's like Sage Mode or Six Path Sage of uh, Naruto. So no, but he does scale to Naruto's base, which by the way is very powerful in its own right anyway. But anyway, back to the issue at hand. Could Shigemaru, in fact, um, I mean, could Tokoyami's dark shadow be powerful enough by storing into the shadow? This is true. However, by taking control of Tokoyami, there would be no technical way for Tokoyami to resist or fight to no to fight back against Shikamaru. Meaning that Shikamaru has the advantages in ninja combat, training, skill, and strength. So, in the end, the winner is Shikamaru Nara. On the next episode of Character War, we've got our season finale. Prince Vegeta versus Wonder Woman. I hope you guys enjoy. Always be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.